So 2020 was rough and 2021 doesn't look like it's gonna get any better. And if you're watching this in 2022 or beyond, well, do you remember 2020? In this video, I will show you the book that I will use to make sure that my photography business, my health, and my finances in 2021 will get much better. Oh, I'm forgetting. Plus, I'm giving away a copy of that guide at the end of the video. So, make sure to stay tuned. Hello there, Evans B, Montreal Advertising and Portrait Photographer. So, you were the casualty of 2020, right? Yeah. 2020 was rough for a lot of people, and even some photographers that I know actually gave up on the business. And understandably, some institutions failed at providing the basic needs uh, when lockdowns came into power or came imposed. Some people were less prepared to face an economic downturn in their personal life versus others. But this is in the past and we have some lessons to take out of it. And with a fresh new year on the calendar, we can actually start looking forward and move on with some new set of tools to help us get to wherever we need. Now the big question that we have to answer is, how do we make 2021 turn around for us then? I mean, if you go online, there is a lot of solution. And if you take a look specifically at Instagram, there are a lot of promises out there to make you rich really quick and even rich with a camera. I'm not promising it works, but it's there. Hey, hey you, do you own the camera? And do you own the lens? Oh, and do you even have some flashes? Well, boy, do we have news for you. You can actually make $100,000 with no effort. Simply follow these six easy steps and you will be on your way to drive a Ferrari in no time. Results are guaranteed or your money back. Or not. It seems like the old miracle cures from the 90s are coming back very strong to get us all. Luckily, there are some really more sound methods to get us to wherever we need. And before we go into these like really advanced techniques, we have to start with the basics or actually talk about them before learning anything new and fancy. We need to talk about habits. Now, as you know, and I know, habits will make or break you. A bad habit can actually make you gain 50 pounds in less than a year without realizing. A bad habit can actually make you spend an extra $500 a month without realizing and really hurting your budget. A bad habit can also make you lose really valuable relationships. And I think we all seen it in the last two years. But on the flip side, a good habit can actually make you save $500 or more monthly for retirement or for anything that we need, like a vacation that I think we all need. And a good habit can actually make you gain fulfilling relationships and move forward on your career with the help of a network or support group. And this actually leads to one of the best books I've ever read. Atomic Habits. Now this book was written by James Clear and it's actually pretty clear. No pun intended. Actually, uh, Atomic Habits argues very clearly that the following, that changes don't usually happen from willpower. A habit is simple, a change that can significantly impact your life, good or bad. And in implementing those good habits and replacing the bad ones, there are a series of psychological tricks to get you to form those new habits in a permanent or sticky manner. Atomic Habit goes in great length in listing those techniques, detailing them, and talking about the psychology behind them. So. While some of these techniques will be very obvious to some, uh, this book is actually uh, covers from the basics to the advanced stuff. Some of the tricks, or let's call them strategies, are really, really eye-opening. Even for myself, that is super introspective, not to brag. And let's take one of my favorite examples that really relates to photographers. GAS, gas, or more commonly known as gear acquisition syndrome, as described by Zach Arias, really does hurt us all. And I speak from the heart here. I actually really love gear and I wish I could own a small storage facility and own a whole bunch of stuff that I actually wanted to use ever. But gear is expensive and it's super easy to justify purchasing because we always need it, right? Now, how can we stop then buying we don't need? I just had the right clothes. Here's one method from the book. 
one of the methods the book recommends actually stems from one discovery that was made with U.S. soldiers returning from the Vietnam War. You see, the Vietnam War was a very difficult war for U.S. soldiers. Booby traps were everywhere. The enemy was also using guerrilla tactics and they're really hard to fight against, especially if we're using conventional means to fight. And also the war was unpopular at home, which makes it even more complicated. And there was a lack of effective strategy when it comes to U.S. soldiers. The main strategy of Vietnam was to bomb them until there's nothing left. And it's not very gratifying if you are holding a gun and getting shot at every day with bombs everywhere. And on top of it, due to the climate, Vietnam is known to be a great producer of heroin. Heroin. Yeah, heroin is a drug that you saw Jesse Pickman's girlfriend overdose in Breaking Bad. If you don't know what it is. Now, some stats came out that 15% of US soldiers stationed there were actually heroin addicts. But when those 15% of soldiers that were addicts in Vietnam came back to the home front, which is the US, only a very small portion of them remained addicted to heroin. Now, the question we have to ask is why? Well, Atomic Habits recalls a multiple set of reasons because nothing is as complicated or simple as one reason. So one of the reasons that they relate and the way we can use here is the addicted soldiers weren't near the source of the heroin and since heroin was not readily as available in the US as it was in Vietnam, I mean it made the drug very hard to get. Second, they weren't fighting in a very stressful war when they were back home. Basically they were just in a very neutral ground, making it less required to go through the daily or daily motions of a war which is pretty stressful when you have bombs literally blowing up around you. And third, the return veterans were not around other addicts and it made the addiction or the behavior very undesirable for people or people around them that actually never use heroin. It's not fun to see. So now let's translate that as best as we can into something that applies to you. Gear addict. Well, first of all, we can start by turning off emails from Amazon, prompting us to buy those delicious damn deals that we get to our inbox every damn day. Or another strategy is if you have friends that are always flaunting the latest and greatest piece of tech, avoid those conversations and actually focus on other areas of their stuff. How's your business going? How's your income? And your new projects that are very cool. If so, good talk. And if part of your job requires you to look at gear very often, so make sure you sign out of all of your accounts before looking at it. Remove your credit cards from the automated uh, payment systems and also make your passwords not stored into Google or make it impossible to remember and don't actually save them at your favorite retailers. A combination of all those techniques or those things will make it a little harder for you to add anything irrelevant to your cart. So I hope this tidbit was actually really useful because let's say this is only one of the many, many, many strategies Atomic Habits offers you in this 263 page book. So because I really recommend it to a lot of friends, I asked my friends actually to actually uh, tell me what they thought about this book. Let's look at the review. And other than the practical advice on the habits, uh, the book also gives you a template or a framework to observe what happened in a past period of time and also how to plan for a new one. And since we're in January, it's about the best time to get started on the new set of habits that will lead you to success in 2021. Well, I can't guarantee it, I don't think this book will hurt. And Atomic Habits goes even further by giving you advice on how to build habits regarding your health, also uh, dive into your finances and dive into some really psychological aspect or like most of the areas that are important to you, such as relationships. Oh, and I think I'm getting a call. Hello? Oh, don't review the book further. Don't give any more tips because you'll get sued understood. And without spoiling the book and getting sued by the publisher, I think uh, just by grabbing this book, it's, there is so, so, so much more to learn. And now you actually made it to the juicy point. I'm giving you one away actually, one of my first giveaways on this channel. Now part of my mission with this YouTube channel is to help someone from the community. And I won't go crazy into like trying to do this crazy contest. Simply comment below why you need the book and the best comment that I will pick out and read will actually win it. That's it. That's the only thing you have to do is write a very insightful comment on why you need this book and I'll ship a copy to you. Now, if you're in a hurry and you don't think your odds are very good, you have 20 odd dollars to spare and make sure to delete those passwords after 
you read the book or bought the book, I really, really urge you to grab a copy of the book and get a really good head start. You will find a link to the book in the description below and also link the Kindle version, which is actually free if ever you start as a trial. And if you only want to buy one book with Kindle, if it's for free, I really recommend this one. Again, I'm going to repeat myself, but I've been recommending this book to a lot of my friends and it's the only one I can recommend with blindly to anyone. It will help anyone. And it's a really, really good godsend because I had discovered this book too late. I don't think I would be in the same position I am in today. So I hope you enjoy the first book club ever found on YouTube. I know it's a very, very clever idea, but what I do and what I plan this year is on releasing actually one a month. And this is in line with a habit that I want to form, which is actually to read more in 2021 and something I gave up in 2020 because I had an insane schedule and making it public and sharing with you what I like and also what I dislike will force me to stick to a set of new habits. And it's another recommendation also from the book, uh, which is to make stuff public. So I'm doing it right now. So again, may I urge you to grab the book and the winner of the actual book will be announced in two weeks after the publication of this video on Instagram. My name is Evans B, so you can find me on at Y-V-E-N-S-B. So make sure to follow me there. Now, I won't go into long conclusions, just make sure to grab the book, it's really useful. And if ever you win it, just give it to a friend, it's gonna appreciate it. Now, I'll see you in the next video, and together in 2021, let's light this world. Cheers.